coming or I think I'm gonna do it on first where Errol Spence said he responsible for the Terrence Crawford fight getting done. Then in another uh interview, I both seen him on boxing team, Terrence Crawford said he responsible for getting the fight done. Basically saying on his side of things that he made the initial contact uh via the telephone, the money line to Errol Spence and that's what they got the ball rolling. Um, he said he wasn't going to point fingers or who to blame or who made the, the, the ludicrous demands. But uh, basically, they got on the phone. They chopped it up. Um, and they got to know each other. And, you know, for the most part, you know, um, Earl Spence said he had to humble himself, make some concessions. You know, and, you know, Terrence Crawford went on to say that wasn't something that he usually do. As far as, you know, getting the phone, he said the stakes have never been high enough to get on the phone. And, I mean, a lot of people ha hate having those uncomfortable conversations. But you feel better once you get the shit off your chest. You know, the media, the fans going to put each other against each other. When you talk to the guy, you be like, oh, man, he ain't half bad. And that's that bull job when they sit there and they say, well, ain't, you know, two fighters never sat at the table and did that before. And had they not... You know, basically, you know, called each other, sat at the table, and negotiated with each other. I mean, what they would have got? Real talk. What would they? What would they would have got? Absolutely nothing. They wouldn't have got nothing done. Instead, they they would have been hearing what Al had to say and what they personal managers had to say and they team had to say. And you know, that's why you go directly to the source, and that's why they, that's the real meaning of sitting down and talking like men. You know, um, it's a little different when you're talking to the opposite sex because, and you're trying to get shit off their chest because they want to cut you off or they, they want to speak over you when they know they, when you writing, you talking facts and, you know, they don't want to hear the truth. They live in a, they live in a, you can't even call it virtual reality because that's fucking reality. They live in a, a fake world, bro. Ain't too many, ain't too many, you know, you know, women out here that live in a in a real in a realistic world. So that's a totally different kind of conversation. But as a man, you know, we should be able to sit down. What happened? A lot of times we have to sit down, talk it out. What happened? A lot of shit can be diffused. A lot of shit can be debunked. Um, you know, well they they saying, well he want this because of this, that, and the third. And he now you can go straight to him. Now he's saying, well I want this. But this is why I need this because this is this, that, and the third. So, like I said, you don't when you when y'all negotiating two different contracts, you know, and then when y'all negotiating as you know as as one, a lot of shit be getting done. And what the media saying about the guy? He like, oh, he ain't that bad. Al Heyman didn't want them to galvanize. He don't want them dudes to to work with each other. Cause then he's seeing, oh, he giving him this, I can get that. Oh, you getting that? Oh, I can get that too. Dog, we do this, we can do that. Oh man, we can make this amount of money. Al Hammond don't want these guys to galvanize, bro. He wants them to continue to work against each other and not make the make make no money. That's the God honest truth, I'm telling you. Earl know it's true. And he probably talked to Crawford like, when I was a top ranked, this is how they did this, that, and the third. This is how this should be done. He telling Earl what to do. People at PBC telling Crawford what to do, what you watch out for. It's a shady business. And, and, and the number one people who don't want the fighters to unionize, you guessed it, the people who control the money. The promoters. The networks don't give a fuck if they unionize, because that's what? The network's going to put the money up, and the promoters going to distribute the money. And the first thing that the promoters do when they distribute the money they sk allegedly skim shit off the top. They put it in their pocket first. So it wasn't no, no telling what Al was telling uh, uh, Earl Spence and what Al was telling Terrence Crawford. That's how, that's how you, that's grown man shit. Hey man, what, what was going on, man? He said it started off with a text message. They had a little conversation and um, they went on from there. And you notice how many people still be alive if they had that conversation. I always tell the story out of the homie. I used to work at the uh, plant with and shit. He said him and this dude who used to be shooting at each other in the streets boarded the same plane. And he was like, man, all right. They both was like, we ain't even on that shit no more. I was going to Arizona. I remember, I, I don't know what part. He was like, man, I ain't even on that shit no more. They both agreed, like, man, that's some bullshit. You know, it's petty shit. 
a lot, you know, I'm probably say 80%, 70, 80% of what people die in the street for can be talked out. If we talk out out like grown men, it ain't that bad. But once you let emotions get in, get involved in some of your decision making, that's why women are irrational. And you can't match their emotion. You can be a, you can be a little bit emotional, passionate, but you can never you don't want to match their emotion. Cause then that's what then that's when you do things that you don't think you're capable of. That's why you see the, you know a lot of dudes you know they say loving with your uh, le never loving with your heart loving with your cash. Cause guess what if I love her with a hundred k I can get a hundred k back I'm, you know I love her with a hundred dollars I can get a hundred dollars back. You know. But it all depends. It all depends on the person. She earned that reward. Hey, do it. Now, if y'all hit on the phone with old buddy and you and old boy talking, and he on that bull job, then all right, man. Then you might have to take it to a step further. Or you, got make, you might have to wash your hands of the entire situation. But if he a real, if they some real stand up dudes, they gonna find a way to make some jump like a car battery. Real talk. They gonna find a way to make some jump. And a lot of people will be alive. A lot of beefs will be dead. A lot of uh, 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 alliances will be formed if we just sit down and talk as men. And, and it's uncomfortable. You find out that the dude that you beefing with, oh, he ain't even all that bad. Or the dude that your man's beefing with, your man's was wrong as hell. All, a lot of this shit could be prevented out here. And just like they spoke spoke to each other, man, that's how we should conduct ourselves as, as men. Not white men, not yellow men, not blue men, not green men, not black men. That's men. That's that's a code. That's how we can we should conduct ourselves as men. You know? And a lot of stuff like that going to job. I hear a lot of people bickering behind people back and stuff instead of going to them and showing them or telling them directly. I understand that's a different, you know, that's a different job. That's a different scene. Sometimes, you know, a lot of times you got to be fake at the job. But it also it's a way to be real and still, you know, get your point across. You know, but you know, once you master your emotions, man, and the number one way you master your emotions is with women. Once you cannot, you know, get emotional with them and you can keep your level head and and you ain't gotta raise your voice, you know, but here and there. A little ignorant street beef, what they saw ninja moments on the boondocks, that won't fade you. But if you take that practice everywhere you go, that did these two brothers did, Spencer Crawford did. And you conduct and talk to people like you, be like, man, it ain't even that bad. And they probably sat down, man, this dude, all right, man, this dude ain't asked for too much. Oh, I ain't know he was he was getting that. I ain't know you could put that in the contract. They don't. That's why they don't want y'all unionized. And the number one people that don't want y'all unionized is not the sanctioned bell bodies. They not they up there, but they not number one. It's the people who get the money. The people who get the money don't care neither. They print it. It's the people who distribute the money. The networks, okay, cool. Mm. Unless it's a significant jump up in, pri in price and pay, which it won't be. The number one people is the promoters. They want to be able to allow people to pop hot and still fight because guess what? The, com the, com the Nevada State Athletic Commission got 8% of Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis purse. Stick that in your pipe and fucking smoke it. Too many people got their hand in the pot. And these dudes are some dirty jive turkeys out here. They is. They care more about that money than 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 you. Oh yeah, Joe Smo popped hot, but we gonna give uh, Gene Dollar. We gonna give you an extra hundred k, tax free, straight hundred k. I mean, shit, Gene gonna be like, all right, shit. I take that hundred k. Thank you very much. Think again, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? She gonna take that. That's gonna go a long way. And it's hard. And it's tough times out here, man. It's hard to stand on your principles. You know, when it's tough out here like that. But 
them talking it out, man, that that should be that should be at the top of that's man law. Before you go get a strap, before you go get a gun, before you go, you know, whoop a nigga ass, whoop somebody's son ass for being at your daughter house. I mean, that's like that was that was natural. When I got in trouble, my mom was like, you know, I was like, I ain't did nothing. What you do? They gonna they gonna investigate. They're going to talk to the other parent or talk to people that was there. They're going to investigate. They're going to round up the evidence and then, hey, you right or wrong, you wrong getting that butt kicked. You know what it is. Now today's parents listen to their kids and you know their kids some funky liars. But, you know, that's all I had, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. We want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal, link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Check out the Box News playlist. Peace.